People don't like it when you throw up on the bus. <laughs> um, my purse and phone, I had them when I talked to that nurse. Did she put them somewhere? We'll find them. How long has this been going on? Miss Harper? Irene? Mm. The vomiting and the abdominal pain? Mm. When did it start? In a few days, I think. Maybe this morning. I didn't want to miss my shift today. I just thought it was the flu. But it's worse, right? Mm. Put your hands up for me, Mrs. Harper. Thank you. My kid. I'm supposed to pick her up from school later. I need my phone so I can... My husband doesn't know where I am. It's okay. We'll take care of that. Atwater wants me to let you weigh in first, so... She's confused and disoriented, hypotensive and tachycardic. She's jaundiced. I'd be concerned with liver injury. Yeah, but those symptoms could also describe biliary tract pathology. Uh, but not the trembling hands. Uh, the asterisk six can mean acute liver failure. We should do testing to confirm. Given her level of consciousness, I'd suggest an aggressive approach. Intubation sooner rather than later, she could go into multiple organ failure. Do you want to do testing first? We need blood. CBC, LFT, all of it. Okay. Irene Harper, INR's 2.1 billy elevated. Her liver's failing. You know the procedure? Screen for hepatitis and acetaminophen. LOC? Signs of hepatic encephalopathy. Her O2 sets are borderline. If she's unconscious, you need to intubate. She could go into multiple organ failure. We need to pre-oxygenate. Then give her 100 ketamine and 100 sucks. She's up near. The ring is good. Endotracheal tube. I can't visualize her cords. Airway edema? No, cords are interior. Let's back off and bag her for a second. I should call respiratory therapy. Do you have light ones in here? Um, bottom shelf, I think. Yeah, why? With the lighted style that you'll be able to guide it through the tube. No, I don't have a view. You will now. When you said working in the dark, you meant literally. Occasionally. Do you need suction? No. Could you just... Come. Did you ever think all that would lead you here? What led you here? Everything okay? Yep, tough airway, just got it. We don't intubate with light wands anymore. I propose it. Next time, call RT. Now let's figure out what's causing her liver to fail. The bruising speaks to rapid deterioration. She wanted her family. Do you know if they've been contacted? No. Update her chart, then see if the social worker did that. I'm gonna run down the rest of her labs. How's my wife? How's Irene? Well, she doesn't have hepatitis, which means the differential is wider than we thought. Ooh, we're keeping her stable, but we need to see if she's been exposed to any toxins which could affect her liver. Mm. Does she drink? No more than anyone. Any drug use? You think she's on drugs? No. What about something she ate? She ate what we always eat, chicken, Salad, I, I, I don't know, okay? Irene takes care of herself, of all of us. Okay, there's no fast food, no junk. What about her workplace? Is she employed? Yes, she's employed, okay? She cuts hair. Hair dyes, chemicals. If we can narrow down the talk screen. Can you help her? Well, first, we need to determine why your wife is sick. My wife? Have you seen her? I've been here six hours. Unfortunately, your wife's condition hasn't changed. What I said to you before. I'm not racist. That's not who I am. I was just, I was just scared. I know. <laughs> Mr. Harper, are you feeling okay? Do you need to sit down? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Listen, when can I see my daughter? Sir, can, can you hear me? Arnold! 
starting to look jaundiced and losing consciousness like his wife and his airways compromised. We should resuscitate and intubate. 100 ketamine, 100 sucks. RA 110, BP is crashing. I need two large bore IVs. Let's get this patient two liters of an Estat, CBC, Chem, Coax, LFTs, and cross match four units red cells. IVC's flat. He's hypovolemic, but no signs of free fluid. Uh, hematemesis. He has genetic varices. Elevated INR will cause this kind of sudden bleeding. Which would mean his liver is also failing. And whatever caused Irene's problem is affecting them both. Get Dr. Hunter to check on the daughter. On it. Where is that water? She's with a patient on six. I need a Blakemore kit. What? This man will bleed to death if we don't get a Blakemore now. Okay, got it. We can't put in a Blakemore without an attending. That water's on our way. His heart rate is through the roof. Blakemores are incredibly risky. We don't use them except in the... As a last resort, and if we don't do something now, this man is going to die. Have you ever seen one work? Yes. And if this one's going to, we don't have another second to waste. Four units, O negative. No policies in cardiac arrest. I need a board. Arnold on three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One amp epi. Keep giving pack cells. When I inflate it in his stomach, it should stop the bleeding. Okay, he's been down for 25 seconds. What the hell's happening here? Massive hematemesis and hemorrhagic shock. He just lost his pulse. You sanctioned this? He wasn't protecting his airway, so I put in a Blakemore. Okay. Pack cells through the level one. Pass me the OG tube and get out of the way. He needs a proximal balloon up as well. Dr. LeBlanc, you stay. One gram TXA. 50 mic talk, three of Go! We need to keep Leila overnight and monitor, otherwise they'll send her alone to strangers. Well, she can't go home because there's obviously some kind of exposure, but she's not symptomatic, so it can't be airborne or water, but... Could it be food? Father says they eat healthy. Produce has pesticides. Maybe, although Layla's not sick. What are you thinking? She picked off all the vegetables on her pizza. So what did they eat that she didn't? Well, let's find out. No, 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 you can't. After what you did, they want you in the suture room for the rest of your shift. Dr. Leblanc, Layla's all alone. She's afraid of losing everything, so if you push too hard, she'll shut down. Everybody calls me Max. I'm Dr. LeBlanc. Layla's feeling pretty quiet right now. I need help narrowing down what her parents might have eaten. Layla, could you answer a few more questions about your mom and dad for Dr. LeBlanc? Can I call her with you? I'll go get her some water. That's a nice tree. Hospitals are really big and scary, huh? Hmm? I wanna go home. I know. When I was your age, I had to spend the night in a hospital, too. Lots of times, actually. But you know what? I found out that hospitals are full of people that want to help. So when I grew up, I... I became one of the helpers. And Layla, there may be something that your parents like to eat that you don't, and that's what's making them sick. And if we could just find that one little thing, maybe I could help them feel better. Do you think you can help me do that? Layla picked out vegetables with her father at a community garden. Layla doesn't like mushrooms. Her parents do. We were able to confirm that the toxin that you and your wife ingested came from wild mushrooms. I picked those mushrooms. This was all my fault. Well, you're both responding to treatment well. It will take some time, but... Maybe. They were right to judge me. No, they weren't. People can think what they want to think, but you know who you are. A man who loves his family. Daddy! 
Hey, there's my brave girl.